The Register Web Portal is a website that is used for configuring your register as well as managing products and viewing detailed reports. In this video, we will look at how the Register Web Portal is laid out and what elements are in each section. Using the Chrome Web Browser, first navigate to the URL provided by your solution provider where you will see a login screen. After successfully logging in, you will be taken to the dashboard. The dashboard provides real-time sales figures for the current day across the entire business. The figures shown here are a total of all sales across all stores. There is a drop-down menu in the right-hand side that allows you to view just a particular store's sales totals. The web portal interface is made up of three main elements. The top bar or main menu, which allows you to navigate around the web portal. The navigation bar displays the logged in user details as well as your merchant details. And finally, the main window. This displays the main content of the section you are in, whether it be a report, form or table. Within the top bar, there are a number of menu items that allow you to navigate to different sections of the web portal. These are the dashboard, which we have already seen, the config menu, where we can configure our discounts, lists, product browsers, profiles, staff members, stores, taxes and tender types, the reports, which are grouped into categories such as operational, sales, stock and legacy for easy access, the stock section is where you can manage your departments, products, stock levels, suppliers and carry out stock transfers between stores. The CRM section allows you to manage your customers and appointments as well as all the CRM configurations including text message reminders. Devices where you manage each individual register. And finally the admin section where you can edit the merchant details as well as manage all web portal users. No matter what section of the web portal you are in, the layout will remain the same. Within the main window, there will be a title and either a create or new button at the top, or a filter followed by a table or a form below. Within the tables, a series of icons will typically be displayed in the first column. These icons allow you to carry out specific functions against the item on that row in the table. The most common icons you will see will be the edit pen, the disable cross and the delete trash can. Other icons will be displayed in certain areas. The details of these will be covered in the appropriate videos. How to use all these features can be found in our other videos. Further information can also be found in your user manual and if you still have any questions, please get in touch with your solution provider who will be able to offer further assistance.